How does weight loss normally work? What if I told you that weight loss is actually pretty straightforward? It's easy to be frustrated about weight loss. A lot of people have a tough time losing weight and keeping the pounds off. It's actually pretty straightforward. It's a simple mathematical formula, calories in and calories out. It may seem like there are tons of weight loss options, but it really all boils down to these three methods. Method number one, eat less calories, but burn the same amount of energy. In any given day, you are already burning calories. When you wake up and you breathe and digest food throughout the day, you are burning calories. This is called your passive calorie burn rate. If you were to eat less calories than the amount of energy your body needs to function every single day, your body is forced to look at your stored energy. In other words, it starts eating your fat and eventually, your muscle tissues. That's how it works. Before you know it, you start weighing less and you start looking better and better. Method number two, eat the same amount of calories, but burn energy at a higher rate. They eat the same amount of food, but they increase their physical activities. When you eat the same amount of calories but your body burns more energy, it's going to start looking for other sources of energy. It starts to burn fat and then eventually, it starts to burn muscle. The end result is the same. You start losing weight. Method number three, burn the weight loss candle from both ends. This is a no-brainer. Since you know that you can lose weight just by eating less calories while burning the same amount of energy, or you can eat the same amount of calories while burning more energy, why not do both? It's all about calories in, calories out. As simple as this may sound, people have a tough time doing this because of the standard American diet. Now, thanks to modern food technology and transport systems, the standard American diet did not remain in the confines of the United States. If you are a middle-class person in anywhere of the world, chances are you have adopted the standard American diet and it's making you fatter and fatter.